Ugh. Made by the same developers that made Dusk. Fire on release. Dismemberment sensitivity. Okay. Aim toggle, cringe. Mouse coloration off. Alternate fire. Ew. Ew. There we go. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hey, there we are. Very cool. Why? Why are games like this? Why are games like this? Look, I turn. Okay, watch my hand. Ready? Ready? Why? Why? Why do I have to limit FPS in every fucking game I play? I don't want to do that. It's so much work. Weapon outlines, sure. Camera FOV. Camera FOV. Ugh. What? Overall quality, max, sure. Blood stains. Full of decals, sure, sure. Max number of bodies. Uh, kill out kill is cool and all, but I couldn't ignore how weird the transformation angle where they could have chosen any other angle that had draw to the exact angle that makes your ass look fucking huge. I hate animes that do that so much, it's fucking annoying. Okay. Aw, thank you. I'm ready, I'm ready to game. Maximum action. Tutorial. Uh, play. Whoa. Woo. Okay, that's quite the field of view. Maybe I shouldn't have done it so high. Maybe we should keep it where it was. Um, I need to alter my sensitivity to like half what it is currently. Welcome to maximum action. Very cool. Press escape. No. Press V to kick. <laughs> Okay, let me change that control. I'm going to use that a lot. I need that to be uh, kick, mouse four, action time, left shift, sure, grenade, mouse two. I use a switch to a grenade, drop weapon G. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, switch drop hand. Switch drop hand? Crouch use reload. Okay, I'm fine with all those things. Weapon one, alpha one. Alpha, like alphanumeric, so alpha short for. So like one weapon wheel, sandbox menu, done. Press F to pick up weapons. Press R to reload. Hey. Look at my fucking hands, ew.
Very cool. Okay, so if you look down, you have a body, which is kind of gross. Ew. Okay, well, the volume works great. Okay. Okay, wait. So, control to dive. Whoop. Very cool. Mouse zero, mouse one to fire weapons. G to drop weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need a weapon again. Oh, wait, I can just pick up an infinite amount or no? Time moves as you shoot. Hold left to just slow down time. Do you like what you So tell your brother to come up with emotes as good as yours. My emotes are good? Thanks, Wayward Soldier. Uh gain action time through movement. Wait, where's my action time? Bottom right. I told you, Patrick. What is this? Revolver. Whoa. Cool. Wait, what did that say? I didn't get to read it. I didn't get to read I didn't get to read it. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, okay, it's probably just dive. <laughs> uh, mouse four in the air to mouse four in the air to kick boost off things. So like I'm confused. Oh really? Oh no shit. you said in a stream that you cut out sugary drinks this will sound dumb but is that just soda or did you also cut out fruit juices and stuff all of it all of it dude all of it throwing weapons diving and kicking can break glass okay so i can like throw okay i'm confused Got it. Did it? Okay. Let's just um, take it slow and let's use this and this. Oh. Hello? Oh. Shit! My god! Um, I've discovered something. Now hear me out. The game is loud. <laughs> it's loud as fuck. Holy shit, it's loud. <laughs> it's still loud. Okay, that's a volume I can handle. I can handle that volume. I just want gun one, thank you. That gun looks kinda cool. Um, I would like this gun. Just this gun. Yeah, great job. 
I want to replay this section. Are you going to restart me in the room? You're going to restart me in the room. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want a different gun, though. I want to do it with just a revolver. Just a revolver. Ah, I can aim down sights as well. Bop. 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 Whoop. Bop. Bop. Give me that. Kind of sick. I want just a sword. Wait, the gun stuck in my hand. I don't think that's supposed to happen. That's a bug, right? Wait, guys, wait, hold on. Devs, devs, if you hold a gun and you have a sword and you try to drop your gun with G, the sword and the gun like kind of disappear. And now I have a gun sword in my hand, but I'm just punching instead. Okay, I, I finished it. Okay, also devs, um, if that happens, well, it appears uh, the F key no longer works. So I found a, I found a bug. The movement's pretty sick though. I'm a little soft locked, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you get soft locked. I'll just fly through the tutorial. It's fine. I'm not going to refund it. This game, I, I, I really like the way this game feels. Oops, excuse me. How do you, oh yeah, jump. Whoop. Then you, whoop. No, you, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm on> the... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, let's rush mid. It works. The sword works. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it works. Works pretty, pretty good. Mean streets. I died. I died. I died. Game froze. Game may have frozen. Game crashed. Yes, it froze and crashed. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Game still pretty loud. I think we're gonna set the game to maybe volume 10. try again all right that's a decent volume Shotgun? Sick. Hey! I 
gotta reload. Excuse me. Guys, can I... Okay, I guess I gotta have a serious fucking talk with you. This is kind of fucking ridiculous. Um, can you please not message me or my girlfriend on our personal, private Facebook accounts? For the love of God. Respect our privacy. Don't dig through Facebook to find our accounts to message us. I'm not going to call out anyone because unlike this person, I respect the privacy, but they're a long time nuisance in the community and it's really starting to get on my fucking nerves. Anyway, back to the gaming. For the record, and this is a message to this person, we are not friends. You are not friends with me. I am not friends with you. You're not friends with Christian, and she is not friends with you. You are a viewer of my Twitch streams, and that is it. Respect that fucking boundary. Back to the gaming. Back to the gaming. Okay, how far can you dive? Whoop. Whoop. Scene completed. Watch recorded scene. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me see this. Watch the game crash. Watch this feature not work. This is going to be the coolest feature.
Okay, so I'm just sitting here. Uh, I had to I had to stop stream for a second. What am I doing? I don't remember this. I wonder what kind of like timeline exists. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a fucking upside down dive. Okay, so I was definitely not even okay. Um, I don't remember any of this. Can I fast forward? Okay, yeah, so I did kick that guy. Skip it. Okay, there's no skip button yet. Work in progress. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> there's no button to skip. <laughs> I can press V to switch camera modes. What? What? What happened? What? <laughs> End of recording. Okay. Okay. Let's try a different map. Excuse me, sir. Do you have the time? good shit okay hey ready study <laughs> excuse me sir that gun right there um okay door stuck okay okay get the f <laughs> my fucking legs Woo. where's he at Seeing my legs whoop, like that, it's so fucking hilarious. A bot? I need help. Did I do it? 
Is he just vibing? All right. Put on gun flip. What is it? What does gun flip mean? I turned it off. It didn't sound like something I would want. Picked up 39 of rifle. Ammo? Gentlemen. Oh, shit. There we go. No! Shit. I'm an idiot. Okay, so the, um, the, the time thing, it does go down. And it recovers very quickly. Okay, he's dead. Shit. Okay, I died again. I, I I don't know. 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 I, I'm trying to I'm trying to understand the general flow of combat. Give me your gun. Out the window. Bonk. Where's he at? There he is. Hmm. Is gun flip supposed to be on? What is it? I thought it was something I wouldn't want. Dual wield flip. Is that something I want? I thought it was something I wouldn't want. Okay, that guy has no stun to me punching him. That's fine. difference gun flip makes does it make a difference did i turn it on fire no, no. i don't know give me both of these yeah hello i think that's supposed to be a cut scene but they shoot you during the cutscene in which you can't move. So you're kind of guaranteed to die right there. Headshots are one shot kill, which is always good to see. Bullets don't go through glass, I think. Just based on my little observation of what I just saw there. Father, what? You and my dad? Okay, don't shoot me during the cutscene. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess I get it. <laughs> I kind of get it. Um, 
I'm not sure about the pacing of the combat. It feels like it wants me to be fast paced, but like the slow time thing doesn't really feel slow timey. I feel like during the slow time, if I had even more movement control, Because I can really tell the game wants me to do all this crazy cool shit, but I'm like, how? It's nothing like doing it all. Well, it is a Twitch shooter, which is, yes. Oh, I can also shoot during the cutscene. dead this time. Okay. Press X. Why would you tell me that? Why would you tell me to press X? What? That right there. These projectiles are moving so fast, I feel like. Automatic shotgun. Was it a... Jesus Christ. incentivized to use any of the uh well it moves to one of the devs for maximum action i invited on the server so he can talk to you what you invited one of the devs to the server His name is Balloon Moose. Where is he at? You, you, why, you invite him to the... Um, oh, well, he's probably watching a stream. Uh, just any, 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 any VC. Uh, 
Oh, you don't have permission to talk in this channel, do you? There you go. Hello? You can unmute yourself now. <laughs> Hello? Hello, uh, my, hi. Yeah, what's up? All right, wait, you're just... That's crazy. Um, what's your name? How are you doing? Uh, I'm George Mandel. George Mandel. <laughs> George, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're one of the devs for Maximum Action that I'm playing right now, huh? Yeah, well, um, yeah, I'm actually the creator. So I originally uh, started developing on my own a couple years back, and then uh, it, like, got some attention, and then uh, New Blood contacted me, and now they're publishing it, and now I have, like, some co-developers um, who, I don't know if you know the game Dusk. Yeah, we were just talking about how one of the uh, devs for the game made Dusk, and we love that game. I really, yeah, I really so... love that game. Yeah, so David Szymanski and his brother, uh, John Szymanski, are both, like, co-developing the game with me now. Okay. Um, but, yeah, it's crazy. We were all just talking, and someone just sent your stream in um, our group chat, and I was just watching it. Uh, it's funny that, I don't know, someone DM'd me and was like, oh, this guy's streaming uh, your game. Yeah, I saw him so spamming chat. Uh, I didn't awesome. think he was serious. I, I didn't know that he was actually <laughs> yeah, going to get no, one of the devs in here. Yeah, um, no, yeah, we usually try to keep an eye on if it's getting like streamed or people are playing it. It looks like you're having fun. I was happy to see uh, you get through the tutorial like <laughs> successfully because yeah. it's like that tutorial is super old and buggy. And actually, that's a big thing we're working on for the next update is redoing it. Um, and especially the part there's like the part where it tells you how to dive kick off like launch yourself off of stuff yeah it's like one that it's like most people it's like really hard to figure that out it's like it's oh god um, yeah i had yeah, a little bit of difficulty with that. that yeah um but yeah it looked like you're having fun i don't know there's definitely a lot of bugs um the replay system is probably the buggiest thing but it's yeah. people seem to like it because it's so like kind of funny and like weird i don't know no i can so like Okay, I have a lot of questions because uh, this game definitely has all the, 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 like the movement and the stylization that I really liked about Dusk. Like it, it has that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how heavy of an influence the other devs have been in like directing the the general feel, and the art style of the game. Is that was that all you, or do you take some inspiration um, from? Yeah, I would say no. Like so, originally, um, let's see. Yeah, it was mainly me in the beginning. Like a lot of the levels that are currently in the game are ones that I made and then uh, we've sort of like now that I'm working with new blood we've sort of like re-gone over them and had like like uh, the parking garage level for example I don't know if you've tried that one yet that one's one that uh, David just did on his own um, but yeah the art style was so basically what happened was like I started making the game and I knew I wanted to do like a retro art style like sort of like half-life yeah kind of looking like era um, the low poly fps of yeah of years and then past. I, I saw yeah exactly um and then i saw dusk and i was like oh like these guys nail it perfectly um and i tried playing and i loved it and i was a huge fan i became a huge fan of dusk yeah um and it was sort of like i found dusk while i was working on maximum action and i was like oh man like these guys like nail it like I was almost a little jealous. So I was like, they did it so well. Um, yeah, I mean, like... playing Dusk, I completely got lost in just how how well made the movement and just the the, the shooting mechanics. I just love playing that game. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's just like the twitch shooter that I always wanted. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I and whenever I saw this game and I saw that you know the codevs were the guys that made Dusk, and I was like, oh shit, yeah, absolutely. I'm adding this to the wheel. We have a little wheel that we spin for games. <laughs> You know? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, yeah, that's awesome. Um, so someone in chat yeah, recommended no, this 20... game. Probably the guy that reached yeah. out to you actually is the one that recommended this game. The one that recommended it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, no, you caught me at a good time because we were just. I was just on and like a. We were having a like a meeting. I probably should actually get back to that kind of soon, but oh, yeah. um, <laughs> um, I'm sure they wouldn't care because uh, like they were. We were all kind of watching the stream. I don't know some of us. It's 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 hard to watch people play the game like being a developer just because there's like so many. You notice all the little things. You're like, oh god, we should have fixed that. Um, yeah. And especially with this game because it's got a lot of really buggy stuff. And especially like with the crashes and the bugs and like just other stuff like that. Like a big thing is like the game doesn't have any loading screens. I mean, I think there's like one. So a lot of the time, like when you die, it just looks like it freezes. So it's like yeah. a lot of people are like, oh, is it crashing or? Um, but that's like one. That's like a huge thing that we've been working on. Um, What's the level you said that um, the other developers made all on their own? Um, yeah, parking. It should be parking garage. Oh, it's called Good Luck. Good parking, Luck Parking. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that okay, one. Yeah, that David out. did that one. That one's great. That one's super fun. 
um but yeah it's it's crazy because a lot of them are you know some of the levels are very rough they're like ones that i made back before i put the game on steam and I, at the time i didn't really i wasn't like didn't think it was really gonna take off like it did or like get that much attention because i was just doing it by myself um and like yeah it was it what was even crazier so i put it on like i released it into early access and i kind of i'm actually like in college so i released it and then was like yeah i gotta go to school and kind of was like i'll just see how it does and maybe like see if I want to keep working on it uh -huh. um, but it really started to pick up some attention and people really started to like it and then yeah and the new blood like contacted me cool and that was like that was super cool because I was like I had just been a big fan and then I was like they're like oh yeah we'd like you're interested in maybe publishing your game and I was like super excited so tell me I don't know if you're still watching me am I playing this right am I am, uh, do, you, do you think I'm yeah, playing the game like in the correct fashion and oh yeah definitely yeah okay. like a lot of moving around um, and like I mean, the main way you stay alive is by moving. Let's say, like, dodge bullets. I, I would say uh, maybe you use action time a little more. And the diving, you can, like, the dive kicking can really give you a big, like, movement ability and give you a lot. Because, like, I mean, it, you, you'll just go so fast that a lot of enemies won't be so able to like, shoot you. So, like, dive and then kick off of something? Yeah, that can help a lot. I mean, okay. There's, okay, oh, also, there's another feature that's on the tutorial. So, if you actually dive and hold the dive key down, you can just slide. Like, almost, like tony hawk or something like a skateboarding game <laughs> <laughs> you can just slide forever like you'll never stop so just if you just hold it whatever direct you you'll just keep going <laughs> so oh, um, even uphill that's like uphill downhill yeah you just never you'll just never stop um that's something that like we tried as developers and then we we're like we have to keep this this is just so much fun okay um, if you do it right i think you can slide through like the entire lo entire levels um, but that's definitely one feature. So my favorite thing to do personally is, you know, I'll like go into a room and then go in slow motion and just slide through the whole thing and just try to kill everybody before I hit a wall or something. Um, you can really like choreograph. It's really up to you. I'd say like the, whole, the main idea of the game is you're gonna you're you're trying to choreograph your own little movie scene and kind of okay. come up with an approach of like what's gonna look the coolest. Like I don't know if you've played stuntman games, but I, uh, we really want to push in the direction of you as a player trying to be creative and come up with like a really your own little unique approach okay to how you're gonna like play the movie scene and make your own little like film i guess so in the um, same sense that like katana zero uh whenever you're playing a level you're not actually doing it until after everything's d like said and done and you're watching the the live recording of it like yeah, without any so, of the yeah, similar action to that. time yeah definitely, definitely okay yeah no that sounds fucking sick i wish i was a little bit better at it i feel like i'm doing a lot of shit wrong i don't Cause my, I play a lot of like maybe slower paced shooters and I'm, I'm not the best at Twitch shooters like this. So I'm mm -hmm. finding myself like stopping. Okay. I got to go pick up ammo and, and health and shit. And yeah. I, I no, feel yeah, like no, I, I want to be like, safer, but it doesn't look yeah, cool in the playback whenever you're yeah, playing I really see, safe. Yeah. I see what you're yeah um yeah no it's definitely the type of game where we'd want to promote you to just kind of just go like full speed, just like crazy like you know not holding back kind of thing but um i don't know i i would say you know once you get more comfortable with all the movement mechanics and stuff that's where you really it really starts to shine i, I would say it's one of those games where it's like you know the first time you play it it's gonna look pretty much just like a standard fps game but the more you play it and sort of get like familiar with the mechanics and stuff like yeah. it's like you can really start to master it and sort of like um really like have some your own little unique skills and tricks that you do like i know i have like some little like things i do you can and like there's stuff you can do like you can like actually double jump where like you, so there's dive and there's jump but if you jump and then dive afterward you can almost like use it as like a double jump wait jump dive and then what uh sorry so jump first and then dive jump and you can like then dive okay sorry i blew myself yeah. up like an idiot yeah 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 so. jump dive oh you <laughs> use the dive momentum like it has a little boost that it gives you and you use it as a double uh, jump yeah you can use it as a double jump there's some other crazy stuff i've seen people do like I, I, one guy uh he like drop kicked a rocket in midair like into an enemy um and that was like really cool i didn't even know you could do that um <laughs> but yeah I, i'd say the main thing in this game is it's like really i really wanted it to be very physics based you know, uh -huh. with like all the, the enemies and the weapons and like, you know, everything has a physical object yeah. and acts like it would. So, you know, it lends itself to a lot of really unique situations where you can be pretty creative with like throwing your guns and doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I like I, I, I really want um, to like do shit like that. I, I feel like I'm not good enough or something. Well, someone's right up in my face. I want to throw my gun at him and like punch him like super hot style mm -hmm. then pick the gun up and blast him in the face. 
Yeah. Uh, and some of it too is like on us as developers to make that, you know, like easier and more like convenient to do and have it work. Because there's definitely times where you're like, oh, I want to do this. And you'll yeah. try it and it might not work the first time. So you have to kind of line it up perfectly. And I think it would be our, kind of our job as developers to make it, you know, very like easy and like convenient. If you have like an idea of something you want to do, like it'll just work. Um, yeah. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It's definitely come a long way. How long have you been um, working on this again? Uh, Two years, you said? Well, so I started, I like originally came up with the idea back, I, I would say in like 2014. Like I, I've been working on it for a super long time. It's gone through a lot of different versions. Um, but like I released it on Steam in early access uh, in September 2018. Yeah. So that's like, that was more when, you know, really like officially became a thing and started. Because it was like forever, it was just something I was just doing in my free time. Like, yeah. I, I just got really into game development and I was always into making games. And I always wanted to make a game kind of like this. And it, like, it w definitely went through a lot of different versions. And it, in the beginning, it was a lot more like realistic and slow paced. Um, and then I kind of made the decision to switch it to be more like a twitch shooter and kind of more classic FPS style where it's very fast movement. And it, it, I think it was the right decision because it's just a lot more fun and it's a lot easier to understand. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking it out. Um, Absolutely. I, I should probably get back. Do you have any other last last que questions before I go? Uh, oh God. I, I don't know. Like I'd have to sit here and, and think. Uh, you put me. How how are you putting me on the spot? I'm the one that dragged you in here. <laughs> uh, no, but this is this is a really cool game. Like I see a, a shit ton of potential in this, especially because like I'm not scared of the enemies like I was with Dusk. <laughs> I, I stopped playing yeah. Dusk because of the jump scare enemies. Yeah, it's scary. It's a scary game. Yeah, no, yeah, I really appreciate you checking it out. It's always awesome to see people play it. And like, is this your first time playing it? Yeah, um, I started playing like uh 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the best. It's like really you know people's first impression with it. That's like. At least that's what I'm really into because, you know, I want to see, you know, like what things make sense. And it's like it's hard when you're developing a game for so long because you get so used to the way things work that it's like hard to see it from a fresh perspective. So, you know, whenever I can talk to someone who's playing it for the first time, um, it's always a really cool experience. And it's cool, too, because it, it usually it's like they'll enjoy it. And it, it's kind of fun because you get to like, you know, see the fruits of the labor, I guess. I don't know. Like people see people enjoy the stuff that we work so hard on. You know, this is, I mean, dude, I can tell this game is going to be like, do you have any idea when you might be done? Like the next, I don't know, five, ten years? Like um, pulling a valve? Yeah, I mean, we're a big believers. Our new blood, and I, again, I have to agree with them. We're kind of, they're really big into, you know, like, it'll, you know, it's ready when it's ready. When it's ready, like, yeah, of course. You know, not, like not rushing stuff. Um, so it, it's hard to say. Um, but like... You know, I would really hope to get it to somewhere so that could be finalized definitely within the next like year or two years. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't want to like put a hard deadline, you know, and I think that's the best way to make games too is because, you know, when you put a hard deadline, it's like it can kind of get more stressful and it's like you're not really thinking about making things fun yeah. for players. You're just thinking about get, hitting all the boxes. No, you don't want to um, become a, a job. You want it to still be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it should be fun. The second and it becomes I, work, I it really it's no longer something you can put a lot of heart into, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, also, I was going to tell you real fast. So this Dusk level, um, if you go on the Steam Workshop and download, there's like a the crossbow from Dusk is like a mod for this. If you download it, it'll actually appear in the level. Like it'll be floating and like doing a little circular thing. Oh, okay. Um, so this crossbow uh, is not yeah. the one. That That's just the normal crossbow. Oh, but okay, yeah. okay. So this game has Steam Workshop support. So there's like a bunch of mod weapons and stuff. So a lot of them are like memes, um, but there's some pretty cool ones too. And like, uh, there's some it's a lot of the dust. I think almost all the dust weapons are on there. Okay, so sick. if if you're a fan of dust, you can like download the dust weapons and use them in this game. I mean, I wish there was slow motion in dusk now. <laughs> the slow motion yeah, feels badass. Like yeah, you know that was definitely something I really wanted to like get, make sure I did right. Um, I wish I could move like, faster. Oh, wait, I shouldn't it, tell you that. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be like, <laughs> I can't sit here and like, you. like make make fucking complaints while the dev is <laughs> listening. <laughs> I'd be like, dang, I wish this was. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not super communicated super well in the tutorial, but there is a thing. Uh, I'm not sure if you have it enabled or not, but there's a setting. It's called like fire on release. But basically, what it does is. When you're in slow motion, if you click and hold down, like it'll slow down time more. Um, yeah, if you turn that on. Okay. Oh, yeah. um, it slows down so time th more? And then when you let go, you'll shoot. 
what? So you can use it to like ha have really precise like headshots. Like that's yeah, my favorite gotta, thing to do. Yeah, you gotta put that. You gotta just you know just explain that because I was like, yeah, it's oh, not I'm not gonna use that. All. It's like that's one of the. It's like so glazed over. Like it's supposed to be explained through the. It says like you uh, time. Oh, moves that's as you fucking shoot. badass. Yeah, that's one of my favorite features for sure. It makes it so easy to get like a bunch of headshots because you can just like control it and just slow it almost to like a stop and then just like get, you know, aim and then when you let go. It's See like now a... that, that's it, it feels like like super hot now. Like whenever you yeah, that's, don't yeah, move. Yeah, that's like a super hot kind of mechanic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that, that way... was something I really, I don't know. It's just so much fun. Like I always mess around with that. Okay, so. I, so do, I don't like it off. whenever I yeah whenever it's off I don't like it whenever I'm not in slow motion because my brain's like yeah actually that's a question I have so it, like as you playing it do you feel like it would be weird if you know when you're in slow motion that would just turn on automatically no I I, I, actually, I, I prefer that if it like I, okay. I'm in slow motion I prefer that if it's like a, a mechanic of the slow motion where I if I hold my mouse down it doesn't fire until I let go but whenever mm -hmm. I'm not in slow motion I want to be able to like like just spam. normal yeah yeah because yeah. like okay. what with automatic weapons you know it makes sense but like sometimes i also mm -hmm. want to uh be a little bit more careful with my aim with thistles and shit so like yeah 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 that few milliseconds of me pressing and letting go would i don't know that might mess me up i mean i'm, an, I'm okay. a yeah I'm a, I'm a millisecond guy i got the one millisecond monitor the one millisecond mouse the one millisecond <laughs> yeah keyboard, that makes you know? sense that makes sense yeah you don't want to get delayed by the fact that you have to like oh should i have to let go of, yeah, you know, but that setting that's shoot. like super important. You shouldn't even let the I don't you shouldn't even let me turn it off because I was like, oh, what is that? No, I'm not using that. Yeah, I believe actually. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I think so with it off when you're in slow motion, it doesn't do it right. Um, With it. Yeah, it doesn't do it at all. Like, OK, OK. So yeah, slow motion just that, feels yeah. like medium motion, medium motion. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I think uh, we'll probably do that. I, I mean, that I think uh, that's something we're going to probably update is and change to be so it'll just automatically do it because yeah. like it's definitely a really cool feature um and it, yeah it's just not super explained but like like i said we've been like redoing yeah. i have like a whole new tutorial and it's i mean uh, the tutorial right now already is kind of matrix influenced yeah um, i can tell but the new the newer one we're working on has a lot more like matrix references with stuff like the gun wall like just racks of guns coming yeah. in and stuff like that now it's so much more satisfying like when i'm okay so look chat Basically, when I'm in slow motion, everything's slowed down, right? But if I hold my mouse down, it gets like twice as slow. And when I let go, it fires. So now I'm inclined to like immediately hold down the fire button again and look around for another target. Mm -hmm. That feels much more satisfying than just the medium motion. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't let me turn that off because I, I guarantee you, there's gonna be a lot of people that are like, "What is that? No, semi-auto." And when I let go, that's weird. People are gonna immediately like think about how that's gonna feel, and mm -hmm. I think they're just gonna turn that off. I, I I always go to the settings, but the second I get a new game, that's the first thing I do is look at the settings. So I yeah. turned it off before I, I even played. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, I think that's definitely something we'll do. We'll probably keep the setting like in there, but we'll just make it so if you're in slow motion, no matter what, it's gonna be on. Like you shouldn't. Yeah, like you said, you should probably shouldn't be able to turn that off in slow motion. Um, and that's actually something I wasn't. I honestly wasn't 100 sure whether or not because I always play with it. Um, oh, that's so satisfying. Yeah, it's really great. That's yeah. one of my favorite things. And it's great too because it has a little second where it speeds up and it's like, and then it kind of goes back. It, yeah. It's like when, because when you're in slow motion, it's almost like it's like a, the time, whatever your time scale is constantly being changed by like you shooting, which it makes it feel like a, like a Call of Duty montage or something, but it yeah. just feels so satisfying. Like you're controlling a montage. Yeah, dude. And then <laughs> yeah. you can watch it back. Oh. Yeah. You know how like Doom's uh, OST is, is, like recorded and cut up in bits so it goes along with the players like movement and shit yeah yeah that'd be that'd be sick if uh you could figure something out with that oh get some music get the music get the to music to yeah, work with idea. the recording because this game like the core mechanic is like the time slowdown and then like the gimmick is going to be being able to watch the level after you've beaten it like mm -hmm. all sped up yeah no that'd be sick yeah 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 but yeah, thanks for checking oh, it out. Uh, if you, if you, <laughs> you want to like, oh, geez, but, uh, yeah, that's one of the big ones. It's really easy to like just shoot rockets out of midair, but it usually blows you up. <laughs> yeah, um, no, this yeah, is my, sick. My uh, Twitter or whatever is a uh, balloon moose. Balloon moose. And, okay. Yeah. Uh, Very consistent um, handle. I don't know. I, yeah, I pretty much go by balloon moose on everything. So if you search balloon moose, you can find pretty much my Steam, my Twitter, my cool. 
Okay, whatever. I'm gonna follow you. I wanna keep up with the development because I, I like this a lot. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, free, feel free to DM me or whatever you have questions or whatever. Thanks for playing it. It's yeah, really absolutely, cool dude. Thanks for uh, see people checking it out. Joining the Discord. I'm sorry if my my Discord's a little bit uh, toxic the second you join. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No, this is super fun. Cool, dude. Well, right. hey, I Thanks like so your much. game, man. Thank you. I really, yeah, I really appreciate it. And what was your name again, George? Uh, George. Yep. George. Awesome. All right. Nice Thanks to so meet much. you, George. Nice to meet you. I, I was Jacob, by the way. I never. He left. Damn. He doesn't know who I am. I'm Weast. I'm eternally Weast. Cringe. It happened again. It's okay. He's gone. He just. Doo -doo. God, thank God I'm out of the call of that fucking idiot. God, what was his name? West? Fucking loser. Doesn't know how to play my game right. <laughs> now I know how to use the actual proper mechanics of the game. Hello. I like money. Good evening. It's been a little too long since I've been to stream. Friendly. Thank you for the 15 bucks, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, dude. Chat, that was the dev for the game. That was that was weird. That was the first time that's ever happened to me. Yeah, I can't believe I had to deal with that retard for 10 minutes. God. I'm in the middle of a Zoom like call. I'm working see. on a fucking video game and this guy wants George, to ask me questions. My homies love George. George is a nice guy. Balloon Moose. George Mandel, there he is. CEO of Balloon Moose Games, developer and creator of Maximum Action, a first person shooter influenced by Hong Kong. Can I control the dithering, like in Dusk, to make it look even more retro? Weapon outlines, overall quality, effect quality. You know, in, in Dusk, you like control the dithering to make it look like a even older game. What's about it? Just very low? Nah, doesn't matter. Max. I like it. Now, now that I get it, now that I get the... Okay, I'm going to chat. I'm going to go back through the first level that we played. Now that I have the proper mechanics. Down and understood. Okay. Semi-auto weapons. When you're in slow down time, holding down the fire button slows down time even more. And then when you let go, it shoots. And then time speeds up a little bit. Okay. It's been a year and I'm fed up with this tricky streamer, but still need to cool. The real hero here is Max. Thank you, Max. See, now I'm taking my time with my bullets. Yeah, see? Dude. Now I'm taking time with my aiming and shit, and I'm like popping people in the head. Like it's fucking, it's round one. Yeah. Now that's fucking satisfying. Wait. There we go. See? That feels fucking good. You know what? I kind of just want more control over the time. Damn, okay. No, that's, that feels really fun. Okay, but when you die, when, when, when you die in slow motion, then you, you stay in slow motion. And the game has no loading screen, he said. So it feels like it's frozen. Maybe it did actually freeze. No, it didn't. Okay.
Fuck me, holy shit. Yeah, see that feels badass as hell. Okay. I promise, I promise chat. My opinion is not like becoming better because the dev joined a call with me, okay? This game has a shit ton of potential. I like whenever games are like this, you know what I mean? Um, like this super, I like how low poly FPS is considered retro now. Hearing the devs say like he wanted to make a retro shooter, I'm like, God damn, it's 3D though. But yeah, I guess it's been long enough. Bright colors making my own lady, making the old lady chat go blind. The bright colors are getting to you? This would be a cool VR game. Why do people say that with, with cool FPSs? Oh man, this this FPS would be really cool in VR. You would not be able to do the shit that you do it. Like the core mechanics of the game would not work in VR. Only time that worked, like Super Hot barely worked in VR. They only made two hours of it. Let's watch the recorded scene. Let's see it. Frosty Dog, thank you for the 21 months, man. Coffee. Thank you for the bill. Sorry, Michael action. Oh, you know what would be sick? Oh man, see now that I'm watching it, I'm thinking of stuff I want to tell the dev. What if, chat? What if like the action cam, you could see from the perspective of the NPCs? Like you were first person as the NPC and you see your character come around the corner and blast your dick off. Wouldn't that be sick? Yeah, so watching it back, the pre-recorded, or like the the footage, recorded footage, a little wonky. Um, my gun didn't even fire when I shot those guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching a hacker on Overwatch. Like they're looking at the ground, and then all of a sudden they get a kill and their gun doesn't even fire. <laughs> but like, wouldn't that be sick though? perspective of the NPC getting absolutely blasted maybe bullet time like in uh, fallout it follows the bullet like it follows the projectile I'm guessing all the guns are are your projectiles hit scan I'm guessing my projectiles are hit scan so there's no projectile that can be followed Okay. I like the game. I it's in very very early access, like super alpha, right? But it's it's good. I like it. You know, there was another game that I really really liked back in the day. Um, it was called Sword with Sauce, and it was a game that had so much potential. It was so fun to play, and the developer gave up on it. He was by himself, but seeing this guy, this young fella, probably the same age as me. Uh, get the support of a company he looks up to. That's sick. I can't wait to see where this game is at in a year. Clip this and show it to me in a year when I play it on stream. I'm going to play it on stream a year from now. This game's going to be sick. 
maximum action version 0.69 <laughs> nice 